the sound working? Sound is working! Yay! Right. Well, let us continue with our adventure, I'd say. Here we are. Okay, I'm here. No. As you're ready. Oh, how it is so strong. Who's next? Oh my goodness, hello. I can see there. Welcome. Wait, what? This one's strong. Oh. Do we even have a chance? Watch out. This one's tough. This? I just okay, I really do not like whatever is doing this to me. Uh. Let's work together. Man, I was just getting warmed up. I feel It's just... I don't know. Guess we can do this. How's this? Dragon! <laughs> okay, I like that. Oh. Actually... No challenge at all. Don't get careless. All my heart. Holy power. As your head. I'll blow you away. Come on, wind. Knock him around and cut him down. All right, who's next? It'll be a 
hundred years before you can beat me. Like I'm going that way. What a pain! They're everywhere. We'll get every last one. Okay. Uh, So many monsters. Which I hold still. You. For healing her, Carol. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. This. this is the same phenomenon we saw at Heliord. The air is weaker than it was there, but there's no mistaking it. That monster looks just like the ones that attacked Dongrast. Here it comes. Is the air causing this? This must be why the town kept getting attacked by monsters. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? We have to get them before they get us. We might not make it back alive. I hope we only have to kill this one. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives if we aren't careful. Full power! Okay. What is your weakness? Fire. Poison. Whatever that is. Okay. Are you kidding me? How do I defend again? Oh.
How did I do that again? Now the town's safe. You can't relax Yay. yet. The air is still out of control. Oh, I feel so powerful. That's the logic. The trees, the monsters. It's got to be the air that's causing this. There's more of them. Ah, so this is the end, huh? Farewell, all my dear fans the world over. You don't have any fans. I'll make sure your gravestone reads, Here lies the world's biggest sap. Thank you. You're supposed to say stuff like, We can make it through this together. sword let me see how did you do that back there you like slice through the air but but that's impossible what good would that knowledge do you well I mean with something like that we might be able to stop the blastia from going berserk we saw that happen to a blastia the air was out of control we couldn't do anything this was only a distortion it is a natural occurrence distortion Um, thank you so much for helping us. Do not go near the air krennic. Huh? What do you mean, air krennic? This place? Air krennic are the springs from which all air in the world comes. Springs of air? Who are you? This isn't the kind of place you just go for a walk. <laughs> we would have been dead without your help, though. Thanks. That power? Could it be the Rizomata formula? I can't tell anything from checking things out here. I have to see some others. Hey, didn't that guy earlier say these were all over the world? Yeah, he did. We won't know anything solid until we find them and study them. So, I guess we're finished looking into things here? Yeah, let's get back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn. Okie dokie loki. Let's get this over with. As you're rich, 
Oops. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. As your breath, as your I forgot which button to press when that happens. This? No, this is Anomalous air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, then it might not be only this forest that's affected. You sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Uh, what? Another monster attack? Carol, keep your head down! Something? Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off. What did you do? Yuri, it must be because we stopped the flow of the air. The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air. Runaway air? Hmm. Hey, old man, do you know something? Well, my old friend Bellius used to say something about it. So it's true that Don and Bellius are friends. Who is Bellius? The Duce, who rules the Colosseum of Nordopolica. Nordopolica? And what's with that runaway air? It was really amazing. More and more really strong monsters kept on coming, but we... Boy, those are the sorts of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. I'm... I'm sorry. Excuse me, could I see him for a moment? What? Oh. You can use healing arts. Thank you. Mm. Ain't that Raven over there? Quit hiding, you! <laughs> Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing. Mine especially. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow, that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps. Cut that out. Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Quite the strapping young lad, aren't you? What's your name? I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Yuri, eh? So you must be the leader here. Uh, excuse me, Gramps. Anybody home? Uh, there ain't been too many lively youngsters around here lately. So I've grown bored. I'll listen to you. But in exchange, you gotta indulge me for a bit. Jeez, what a time for that old geezer's bad habit. What are you talking about? Whenever he finds someone who shows a little backbone, he just has to test them. Test? Test what? Their strength, of course. Exactly. Now, come and indulge an old man in his innocent hobby. No, 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 no. You can count me out. Hey, he just took off. All right. An opportunity to face the head of a guild isn't the kind of thing that comes along every day. <laughs> That's the spirit. Show me what you got. What? No, I don't want to. If you're so old, then retire and drink tea in peace. Sorry, but that's really not. My style. I'll blow you away. Rosary. <sighs> I screwed up. 
Yeah, what was I supposed to do against that? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Well, that's enough. Oh, thank goodness I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Uh, I was so worried. Keep this up. This is going to turn into a real battle. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. Don, sorry to interrupt. Ah, uh, I see. All right, you dogs. Time to head out. Sorry about this, but something's come up. We got to return to Dongrest. If you come by the Union, you'll have my ear first chance I get. Hope if I have your word. That hmm. I was giving him everything I got in that fight, though. Hmm, a guild, huh? We're gonna make one, right? We'll see. <laughs> so, what do you think? Y'all finally get a taste of how awesome I am? Honestly, this guy. I sure didn't notice you being too awesome out there. Always so quick to criticize. All right, I'd like to go back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn and keep looking for Barbos. Rita, once Yuri's done with his business, we should go back to report. Rita? Oh, what was that? Once Yuri's done, we should go back to report to Alexei. Is something the matter? N no, it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. Just who was that strange person with the sword anyway? Do you think he came to Cave Mock all by himself? There are so many monsters around. Judging by the way he was standing, he's pretty confident in his own abilities. He seemed calm or even like meditative. Well, whatever. He was a strange guy. Yeah, I have no idea what was up with him at all.
Don Whitehorse. <laughs> I can see how a man like that could rise to the top of the Union. It's pretty impressive. I'm just relieved he's the sort of person who's willing to listen. I didn't think he'd give us a chance, considering that he's never met us before. That's what makes the Don so great! I told you, right? Man, he's so cool! Do you run his fan club or something? <laughs> okay. So you come back, have you? Yuri. What? You two know each other? Yes. We're old friends. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Now then, what business did you have? Uh we came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. You have a problem with him too? We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos's example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. Barbos? Yeah. <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Since we'll be cooperating with you, I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. <laughs> if that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Hey, send the message to Bellius. <laughs> Tell Bellius that Nordopolic is gonna help us. Man, this is serious. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Read it aloud. If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. What? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? What is this? Looks like you and the young master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap. screw up, it'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> All out war with the Empire! We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital! Try and make a fool out of me and I'll tear these little messengers limb from limb! And it looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I... I suppose you're right.
I cannot believe that Yoder would give a letter like that to Flynn. There must be some mistake. We've met His Highness too, and he certainly didn't seem like that kind of person. But you heard the letter! It said to take Don Whitehorse out of the picture! So maybe it was sent by someone who wants to throw a wrench into what Yoder and Flynn are doing. But that's nothing more than a hunch right now. Yeah, you're right. The only thing we know for sure right now is that Flynn is in trouble. Strange. Bless you, thank you. What's the matter, Yuri? It looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You wait here. Uh, okay. Don't take too long. Alrighty. Now to go see how Flynn's holding up. was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to stay here. What, and be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri. If I don't make it back, you'll have to die in my place. Yeah. <laughs> Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son. This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? <laughs> if I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you were on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. 
Or were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or you can turn your back on the Empire and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear cut. Yep. I think you're going to have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me. So what? You want me to find him? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. That sounds like her. Out of the way! The dawn is passing through! Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial bastards to look down on us! Oh, Yuri! Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The dawn told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad! Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean! What else? I saw them! You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now! Just what the Dawn wanted. Let's catch up with Rita! Yeah. Where were you talking with the Dawn, Yuri? You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? No, it's nothing like that. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Dawn planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Dawn and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now the Dawn's yeah, making right? me do his dirty work. What a pain. Rita. Yes. Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there, then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Ugh, that guy. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay. But the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to... Oh, come on. You sound like you think I'm going to trick you. Well, you have tricked us before. I can handle getting tricked a couple times, but there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way. We're coming through. What is this place? Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully.
Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barvos... Easy now. Haste makes waste. What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. I do not remember this. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! That's exactly what it is. And our plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? No. I won't know that until it's all over. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Aw, oh, crap! And I was totally planning on skipping town. <laughs> I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's pitch black. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? You've got some nerve, old man. Rita, isn't there something you can do? Hmm, nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied. Like Lux Blastia. Huh, really? You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? <laughs> hmm. Is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. Whoa! Isn't that thing gonna explode? Are we okay? Of course it's not gonna explode. This is a type of Lux Blastia. I don't remember you this. Is this that new? Device to charge air and light up. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Let's get moving while we've still got light. <laughs> What's up, Puffer? You need something? It's dark, so you'll get lost if you stray too far. Thanks for worrying about me, lass, but I'll be fine. It's so dank in here. I hope we don't have to stay too long. It may be dank, but at least the bustle is gone. I prefer the quiet of these tunnels. Uh, right. I'll never be able to keep up with your sensitivities. <laughs> oh, repeat. Do you know where Raven went? Hey, Poochie, where'd you- Ugh. Ow. <laughs> There goes the quiet you were talking about. Yes, well, I've become accustomed to it. Stop jabbering about customs and help an old man out. Nah, we're good. Oh. Monsters! Um, they won't attack us, will they? We shouldn't have anything to worry about. <sighs> the light. We need to charge up some air before it goes out. What the? Don't get sloppy. What the zombies? You want revenge? Bring it! That was scary! I never expected monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack! There's no way any monster is that smart. Perhaps they're weak against light or something? There are monsters like that? There are indeed. Creatures that live in dark places such as caverns in the ocean floor sometimes have an aversion for light and work hard to avoid it. 
Oh, right. So that's why they didn't attack when it was bright. Oh, there's another one of those machines. Oh, how interesting. So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice. <laughs> Yes. I would like to save, please. Hmm, there's something carved here. Words? What is this? Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people, and thus became the true defenders of freedom. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey, isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Dawn came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they split up again. But with the So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sword tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. Oh yeah, that infamous king of the pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally. 
but he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now. Let's go. Our swords for freedom, huh? The Union Oath, right? Fighting for personal freedom instead of draconian imperial law sounds good to me. If you feel that way, maybe the guilds are right for you, Yuri. Huh? Yeah, I wasn't cut out to be a knight. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You agree, Repeat? <laughs> the guilds, huh? Pretty. Yay, save point. a lot of gold. I actually want to save again <laughs> in case I lose it. Get the shit out of me. Guess we can do this. That's three. From behind? 
Gosh. Oh, man. We can still overcome this. Just get thank you. Ooh, am I there already? Where are we? A tavern in the eastern part of town used by Barbos as a hideout. Basically, it's the place you guys were trying to sneak into. Then Barbos is somewhere around here? Looks like there's a second floor. Let's see what's up there. Okay, I remember this. What is the meaning of this? I have the slightest idea what you're talking about. The tower and the blastia, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? What? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your own employer? You even went so far as to use Leviathan's claw for help. I'm not your lapdog, Rago. I just gathered the cores together, like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather-controlling Blastia. And just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra cores? Our mutual non-interference was a condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Barbos, how dare you? You will leave now, Magistrate. Remember this, Barbos. Black-hearted filth like you always get what they deserve in the end. You want to talk, Rago? You guys! It's the World Series of Villains, and you had to take the best seat in the house? What fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? Oh, -ho! if it isn't the little runts I met on the ship. You're the one who's been causing all of the recent chaos. And what of it? You fools will never manage to capture me. Oh, yeah? What's your reasoning there? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. That's why he thinks the way he does. If so, then that makes you quite a villain, Yuri. Yep, I'm nefarious. <sighs> so we're rebelling, huh? You're a real troublemaker, you know that? You've got a big mouth, brat. You would dare to oppose me? I thought I told you before, the next time you wouldn't get off so easy. All the better for us to tear things up. Take them down! Ha <laughs> ha! The fools have started to march. Now that meddlesome Don and the Knights will destroy each other. He did this to destroy the Union and to eliminate the Dawn! If the Knights are destroyed, who will protect the Empire? Rago, why would you...? Of course! He's gonna weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire! And he's gonna use the Blood Alliance to seize Altosk and rule over the Union. Oh my! The Knights and the Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. <laughs> so what if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle. <laughs> we'll see. And your existence comes to an end here. Damn it, he's too late. Flynn! Stop! All of you! Sheath your blades! Sheath them! 
I am Flynn Shifo of the Imperial Knights. I have come bearing a letter from Master Yoder. The letter you received from the Empire was false. It was the work of a rebel. Draw back your armies at once. I thought you weren't coming back. And leave Yuri behind to take the fall for me? I wouldn't dream of it. Rego, you fool! You didn't keep up your end of the bargain. Don't hurt me! Damn! Yuri! They're aiming at Flynn! <laughs> Got him! Nice shot, Carol! You brats think you can stop me? Get out of here! Head for the exit! Yuri, no! It's too dangerous! It should take time for the air to recharge. I'll try and stop him before then. Now! You're too late! No! It charged up too quickly! Yay! What the hell? What in the world is that? Oh, so you're back for more, Dragon Freak? Is it time? Rita, knock it off. Our enemy is over there. My enemy is this dragon freak. Leave it alone for now. <clears throat> I'm gonna make you wish you hadn't done that. What, what in the world? Fly? Oh, so the boss is heading for the hills, huh? Oh, get back here, you freak! If you're going after him, let me come with you. We're a little short on wings around here. Are you crazy? This jerk's our enemy! No matter what happens, I've got to catch that guy. Come on! Yes! Thanks! Wait! What about us? This guy is overloaded enough as it is. But what should we... You guys hold down the fort here. What? Stay out of trouble. Damn it, Yuri! <laughs> and let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while. Yay, it's time for Judith. Ah, it's not the outfit I was wearing when I got on. So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. You... You've destroyed the Blastia! Yep. Okay. Bastards. You're next, punk. Come on, we're just getting started. Trouble taking care of a brat like you. Now rip him to pieces. Okay. Oh, so many. Here, 
How am I supposed to win against this? What? And they were never heard from again. I was supposed to win against this? How? Oh. Yeah. This is going to be difficult. How was I supposed to win against that? Where are we? Honestly. A tavern I have to do Tom it over again. Barbos is a hideout. Basically, it's the then Barbos is somewhere around here? Looks like there's a sec. Let's skip through it all. Since we've been through it. Oh, I can skip. Okay. Here it is. Let's just do our best. So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. You, you did. As you want I'll blow you away. Head strike. Head strike. Head strike. What the fuck am I supposed to do with Fang Strike? No, I didn't mean to do that. No. Don't tell me I have to do this alone. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you your place. Huh, that's a handy sword you've got. Think you lost because of this sword, huh? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, talk it up while you've got the chance. We've got a nice painful death all set up for you. Yay! It's my favorite part of the game. Now shut up for a while. What's okay. The deal? Please, I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. Yeah! Hey. 
that's enough. Damn it! It's Judith time! A woman? And she's Christian? Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes, my friend. Oh, you mean that monster? He's not a monster, he's a dragon. So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? <laughs> Get it! Deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right. I'm not all that impressed. So that's why you mashed up Barlas's Blastia too. Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Okay, then. So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. <laughs> don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Ah! <laughs> hey, don't smack her. Oh, that is That's it. nice. Uh. Pipe down! Cut it out! You cut it out! <laughs> I said that's enough! <laughs> so I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson, huh? Nope. I like that. Ta-da! You're free. Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? <laughs> Good job. Uh, overdid it back there. There. That makes us even. I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Judith. Judith? Uh, Judy's easier to say. Fine by me. All right, on to the next objective. Next? Well, we could check out the Blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? I don't mind taking care of the Blastia first. Up we go then. And how exactly do we go up? This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. <laughs> a princess? Never mind. There's got to be a way up around here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I like this so much. Hey, why were you wearing that stuffy looking suit of armor? Oh, you didn't like it? It's pretty sturdy and protects my body quite nicely. See? Look at this beautiful skin free of bruises and blemishes. Very nice. I'm actually worried where my eyes might wander. <laughs> you don't look all that worried to me. Oh no! Totally friendly! Um, he's, so he's looking okay. at her ears. You don't mind leaving your armor behind? It's and her beautiful, scary, beautiful eyes. Me. Walking around with that on tires me out. Hey, no complaints here. I prefer eye candy to scary armor any day. Exactly, eye candy. Edible eyes made of sugar. Uh-huh. Oh. I can't go to me. Yes, let's save. Why won't it let me go? 
got to armor. Oh, fun. Okay, this is my weapon. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Is that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it too. Thank you. Ah, finally. Okay, now I can do this. Uh, where was it? Oh. Where was it? Am I blind? Ah, oh, here it is. School? There's? Oh my. <gasps> oh, I like this. Vengeful half elf. Actually, I like this too. Oh, <gasps> it's so pretty. I'm keeping it. I don't. I don't fucking care. I'm keeping it. It's so pretty. By the way, do I have something for this? Ah. Other than that. I can make the thing. Yes. Why do I need this? Probably don't need it, but sure. Alright, cool. Let's leave it at that for today. I cannot get over on how pretty this is. Look at it, look at it flow! Oh goodness. I would, I would love something like this in real life. It's just, it's so pretty. Okay. Anyway. Thank you for whoever was here or is here.
I'm gonna go now. Bye-bye.